What's going on everybody? My name is Carlos Alves and welcome to the review of the Logitech G502. Um, before we jump in, I kind of want to also express that I want what I want to answer with, with this review, with this, with this video is, is it worth paying the additional uh, 100 or 150 bucks for a mid to a high um, tier mouse rather than buying a cheap $20 you know, gaming mouse? So without further talking, let's jump into it. So let's start off with the visuals and ergonomics. The, the mouse just looks beautiful. It looks like, like a professional gaming mouse, not, you know, not like a typical $20 mouse that you would pick up at, I don't know, Walmart or Target or something like that. Uh, but also nothing crazy like Matcat. Matcat, by the way, rip Matcat, uh, but Matcat had some crazy designs like like Transformers crap. Like this looks amazing. So when you look, when you look at the mouse, it looks really good. It looks like a gaming mouse as well. Nothing too out of ordinary though, which is which is actually what I like. I I don't like my uh, my mice being crazy. Um, when you look at the mouse, I, you also find on the bottom you have a magnetic clip, which also reveals the. Um, the slats for your weights, which I'll talk about later on. So of course, the ergonomics are amazing, uh, up to the point where I didn't want to take my my hand off of it when I was testing and just playing games or or just just using the mouse itself. It weighs 168 grams without any weights, which is obviously pretty hefty for a mouse, but honestly, it feels really good. Why? Because it has a special material on the bottom, which, which allows it to slide much smoother than any other mouse, almost any other mouse on the market. It's it's obviously very, very good. The drawback to that is uh, they, they said about three to four years of usage, this material is gonna wear out, apparently, apparently. Not sure how, uh, they, that's what they said to me in the mail, in the review, to mention it because they don't want to be, um, they don't want to be lying to their customer base. So this basically, they said, Three to four years, it's gonna it's gonna wear out. But the trade off is that you will be have you will have a much better feeling mouse when actually using it. The weights are also available. You can put up to five. Every single one weighs thirty six grams. Let me just show you the actual weights. And there you go. There's your holder. You can see three inside. I have two. That's just what fit for me. You can actually you can actually make it your own and test. I tested all of the different um, configurations and that's what I feel most comfortable with. And honestly, what was amazing for me was this holder right here. It is so, so obvious, but it was so surprising to me how it just makes the, 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 the mouse feel amazing. It, I have, I, I have, I have, I have no words. There's something so simple, but it just makes this so premium. Um, you know, every single other mouse, like for example, this one I'm going to show you right here. Um, I'm just using it for the review, basically. I gave it to my girlfriend. This is my old mouse. It costed me about 20 bucks. Um, with this mouse, I had to drag, basically whenever I'm using it, my thumb is dragging along the actual mouse. I almost, I almost never had it here because, you know, your hands do get tired, tired. Whenever using this mouse, I keep my thumb, I, like, I just let it go and just stays there because, because it's on the stand. It's just so comfortable and so amazing to use while gaming or just, uh, just a normal usage. And it's, it is super comfortable. I've never used a mouse that comfortable in my life. Every single mouse that I, ha that I previously owned in my life was a cheaper mouse. You know, it was 20, 30 maximum, maximum 40 bucks. Let's move on to the buttons and scroll wheel. The mouse includes 11 buttons, which are all programmable to do certain things. They can correspond to any keyboard clicks. They can also uh, correspond to functionality like forward track, back track, or play, pause, stop, media button. Uh, it, even something like a Windows button could be mapped to one of your buttons on, on the mouse. One button that I, I did not include uh, in the actual count of 11 buttons is this button right here, which is not, actually, not not an actual button which you can actually set, but this is the button which actually makes your spin wheel, spin wheel um, go freely, but we're gonna talk about that in, in a second. So Logitech claims that these mechanical buttons 
have 20 million clicks in them, which means that uh, they might, might start to fail once they reach you know, the, the, the threshold of 20 million clicks, which is a ton of clicks. It's, it can take you years if you're not using this uh, heavily. If you're, if you're using this about eight hours a day, it's gonna take you about two years to click it two million times. So one thing I really want to give props for uh, to Logitech team is the actual actuations on all of the buttons, not just, you know, not, not just the primary ones, even though the primary are the most important ones, um, just every single button on the mouse has really, really good actuation force needed for the actual thing to press. Um, again, they won't press by, uh, by accident. I did not have them press by accident even once. And also they're not too hard to click. The, the mouse I, I was using before, for the first two weeks of the usage, my hand was getting used to the mouse which is a terrible idea. Your mouse, sh your hand should never get used to the mouse. It should be the other way around. Um, you should you should just go straight into using the actual mouse um, without actually having to get used to it. But my hand hurt for the first two weeks of using that mouse. With this one, I jumped straight in and I couldn't take my hands off of it. So it, it what it does, what what just you know the ease of pressing buttons on on the, on the, on the mouse or anything, just what it does to comfortability is amazing. I have one drawback for the, uh, for the actual buttons and the scroll wheel. Um, it's actually about the scroll wheel. What's actually funny, and this is about the only drawback that I have for this mouse, there's one, one, one more minor one that is just too high quality. I think there's a very, very easy fix for it. Either make this more ribbed than, than it already is. I don't think, I don't think you guys can see um, the ribs at all. Okay, there we go. You can actually see the ribs make it even more ribbed or where, where the actual ribs go, just put just in each one, just put a little uh, piece of rubber. And there you go. Uh, then you, we can have a very, very high quality scroll wheel. And we have confidence that our um, finger is not going to slip anymore. Final couple words I wanted to mention about this mouse right here. It is really good. But before we just jump into the verdict themselves, the verdict itself is I want to say that Logitech's software is a different it's a different beast than its hardware. So uh, I'm gonna split this video into two. We're gonna have a second part coming out pretty soon. It's gonna be like a little walkthrough through the Logitech gaming uh, software. And also the the actual, it's gonna be a second part of this review basically. So it's gonna be taking a look at the Logitech gaming software and, and uh, in, in particular the mouse part, which actually, you know, which actually is responsible for the mouse control, but um, so expect that in a couple of days, but uh, when it comes to hardware, this is a great, great piece of hardware. Um, honestly, you won't find anything, I, I think, better uh, for the price. Just uh, it's premium design, it's comfort uh, and usability, honestly, and also it's adaptability. You can adapt it to basically make it your own. I don't think you're, you're going to find that anywhere else. And uh, with the amount of features, the amount of different um, also buttons and just, again, just ability to make it your own, you won't find anything like that on the market. So I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 just because the only thing that I, I don't like about it, uh, well, I do like about it, but I know why it faltered and I would like to see it uh, changed in the future possibly is the little um the little scroll wheel but other than that this mouse is amazing thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed if you did leave that like ring if you haven't already subscribed to the channel check out logitech i will put their link uh, in the video description and hopefully um hopefully it's going to result in you guys getting this mouse because it's actually pretty damn really really good so thank you so much for watching again i'll see you guys next time